Congratulations, what an amazing achievement in what has been a history-making season for the club. How proud are you to be standing here right now? Yeah, wow. Um, I'm going to have to do the voice apologies. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been like this since Sunday. Yeah, lots of yelling during the game, like days. Um, no, immensely proud. Um, I just love this footy club so much. It's an absolute honour to run out in that red and blue jumper every single week. Um, I cherish it so much. And, yeah, to, to get this cup just means the absolute world to me. And, yeah, I'm just so proud of the girls. Why not? Why not? Keep them rolling. You kicked 17 goals this season, taking your career tally to 56, which is obviously a huge accomplishment. How much do you enjoy being part of that forward line with the likes of Taylor, Daisy, Bano and, and the likes? I know, it's an incredible group, um, obviously led by Daisy, but I think we just have such a good dynamic, such a good um, balance of, yeah, speed with Bano, uh, power with Tay, footy IQ with Daisy. Like, it's just such a good group to be a part of. Um, and then I can't forget my little mate Fito and Case. Um, they're just absolute workhorses and um, Ido as well. Sorry, thanks, Daisy. Um, <laughs> no, it's just such a good group um, to be a part of and yeah, I just am the lucky one to end up uh, kicking a few goals but it's all their hard work. You were elected to the vice-captain position this season, forming part of the leadership group with Daisy, Tyler and Libby. How have you embraced this challenge this year? Yeah, it's been amazing and I guess firstly um, just a huge thanks to Pax and the selflessness that she showed to let someone else um, step into the role. You know, she's just been an incredible leader of our footy club. Since day dot, I look up to her so much. Um, and what she's brought to our program is just immeasurable. So I guess firstly, thank you, Pax, for giving me this opportunity. I think it's one um, that's really challenged me and it's put me out of my comfort zone, but I've absolutely loved it. And um, yeah, I just feel so lucky to be a part of it with days, you know, learning off the best. Um, and then to be so well supported by Hanksy and Libby um, and the rest of the Demon Spirit Girls. You've been a demon since midway through 2017, riding the highs and the lows. Was holding up that cup absolutely everything you dreamed of and more? A hundred percent. Absolutely everything I dreamed of and more. <laughs> I think um, on Sunday night, Corey was asleep in bed because he had a 7am flight, but... I literally just got into bed and just started bawling my eyes out with tears of joy, of course. And I think I just said, like, today I got to live out my childhood dream. Like, that's pretty cool. And how good that you got to do it with all your best mates. <laughs> no doubt you have a huge list of people that have contributed to this amazing success. So go ahead and thank everyone that you'd wish to thank. No, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess firstly, just the club... Uh, led by Purdy and Kate. You guys are just amazing and um, you give us such a good opportunity to succeed. I think it's been spoken about a lot, but um, obviously the two women's seasons and the one men's season in a year has been a lot for everyone to deal with. And But we would never know any different. You know, We just show up to training and everything's organised. We show up to game day. Everything's organised. Um, so we love you guys so much and we really thank you for the opportunity that you provide us. Um, and then I guess to our footy, um, our footy staff, our coaches, um, our medical team, our high performance team, um, you guys are the best in the business. I think George and Saren are probably so sick of seeing me because I'm just the worst patient ever. Um, <laughs> I think I said to Saren one time, uh, one time this season, that I really like you, Saren, but I've had enough of you this week. Like, I don't want to see you anymore. Um, so thank you for, for putting up with me. Um, and then to Jesse and Wags. Uh, the way that you run our program is just seamless. You do such an amazing job. You put in so much um, hard work, so much goes in behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, it just makes our life and our job so much easier. Um, and then I guess to Mick and our, our coaching staff, um, I just love you guys so much. You know, the, the time, the dedication that you put into our program is just unbelievable. I think a lot of the girls have said it tonight, but... You never say no to anyone. You've made every single person in this program not only a better footballer, um, but a better person. And um, I'm just so forever grateful for yeah, the opportunity that you've given me. Um, I just love being a part of this program so much. Um, to the girls, yeah, wow. Like, I've just won a flag with 33 of my best mates, and that is just so cool. Like, it's just so cool. <laughs> Yeah, like I think the bond that we've created this season, especially, you know, um, 
we have come so close for a, a number of seasons and um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I'd have it any other way. You know, what we've experienced this season, the highs and the lows, um, losing one last season or, yeah, seven months ago, to get the opportunity again to do it um, last Sunday, yeah, I just, I wouldn't take anything away from, from the journey. Um, it's just been incredible and I, I love you guys, you girls so much. I would literally do anything for any, any one of you. Um, and, yeah, this is just the start, like... This is just the start. Um, one isn't enough for me. Like, I don't know about you girls, but I want to just keep going. Um, and I don't want to single anyone out, but I just want to say thanks so much to Daze. You know, she's just been, yeah, my absolute inspiration from, from day one um, this season. I've just enjoyed working with you so much. Um, yeah, you're just an A-plus human being, an 11 out of 10 human being. We have a lot of those in our program, but you are one. And, yeah, I just want to thank you so much for being such a big part of my journey and yeah, I just love you so much. Um, and then lastly to my family, uh, mum, dad, Izzy, um, all my extended family too that message me every single week and um, just support me so much, you know. You guys are there um, for literally everything. You fly all over the country for me. Um, you're my number one supporters and yeah, you guys just mean the absolute world to me. I couldn't do any of this without you, so thank you guys and I love you. Um, and then just lastly to Corey, uh, it's pretty funny that we actually met in this program. Um, sorry, Mick. <laughs> um, but yeah, just I just love you so much, and um, you know you you've sacrificed so much for me over the last couple of years. Being a hab or a wag isn't the easiest, <laughs> isn't the easiest, I'm sure, um, that many of our, of our partners can attest to. You know, we dedicate so much time to footy um, and to our craft, so I'm really looking forward to a summer with you, and yeah, I just want to thank you so much for all your support, and I love you. <laughs>